Hey guys, so I'm sorry if you can hear the dryer vent. Um, I decided to sit outside and make a video because the weather is okay. Like it's kind of gloomy, but um, I want to enjoy the outdoors as much as I can since I'm actually like for real starting work at the school tomorrow. Um, it's only a four day week because of the Labor Day holiday, but um, this will technically be my third day at the school, but the first day, like the first full day with students. And so the purpose of me making this video is just to kind of talk to you guys about my thoughts and kind of what I'm freaking out about. So um, I had mentioned that the actual ECSE teacher is on maternity leave. I am very nervous about that um, for numerous reasons, not just because of the fact that it's a new job and myself and the other paraprofessional in the ECSE classroom are going to be responsible for these students for the entire time until the teacher gets back from <clears throat> maternity leave. I'm just kind of freaking out um, because I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, this is my very first ever job as a special education paraprofessional or just as a paraprofessional in general and so I'm super nervous about like what I'm supposed to actually be doing with these kids um, and I think it doesn't really help that the teacher is not going to be there. Like I feel like I would be a little bit more confident and comfortable if the teacher was going to be there because then I at least would know like hey if I have an issue or a question then I know who to go to to ask. Um, I do know that I can ask the <clears throat> elementary special ed coordinator and the special education coordinator for K through 12, but I don't know how accessible she is through the day. Obviously, if the ECSE teacher were not on maternity leave, she would be accessible for the entire time, like the whole school day. And now that I found out that like ECSE is just the morning time, and then like after lunch, like the whole afternoon, we like from noon to three, we are resource slash push in slash inclusion going into other classrooms. Like I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with these students in the other classrooms. Like I don't know what's in their IEP, what they need accommodations or assistance with. And I don't want to over accommodate and then have them get used to that while the, um, teacher is out like <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry um, I don't know if that makes sense but I don't want to like screw something up somehow and then have this student be expecting certain things that they won't actually be getting or that they shouldn't actually be getting and so I'm really nervous in that aspect as well because like I said it just makes me very uncomfortable um, and I also kind of feel like I've just been thrown in with no training, um, <clears throat> which I have told you guys, I have experience working with autistic children and a lot of the ECSE students that we have, as well as the resource um, inclusion and push in students we have are um, on the autism spectrum. But I just like, I don't, I don't know what to do. Like I've never worked in the educational setting as far as that goes. And like my godmother told me, just view it as a, a babysitting job. And my thing is, it is somewhat a babysitting job, but it's also not because these students have to meet certain things. They have to meet certain goals or they're supposed to be meeting certain goals from their experience with us. And so I don't want to screw that up or make things more difficult by over accommodating <clears throat> or not giving enough assistance or accommodation. So I don't know, like school starts tomorrow and I'm very, very nervous just because of like all of these feelings and thoughts that I have going through my head. Um, I'm trying not to like keep going back to it and get myself overwhelmed and all in a tizzy and have anxiety attack because of it but <clears throat> like I'm very nervous um, I want to go in there confident and I don't want the kids to think 
that they can't take me seriously um, because I think that that kind of sets you up for failure as well as an educator um, because I definitely want to feel like I know what I'm doing and feel like I'm assisting these students in the best way possible for them but I'm very like I said iffy and I don't know if the other para that I'm going to be working with knows that I don't have experience like the ECSE teacher when I was working with her on Thursday um, had told me that the other para is really excited to meet me and um, she had told me like certain things about what we'll be doing. I don't know if she has let the other para know that I have zero experience as a para. Um, I, like I said, I'm just very nervous about the whole thing. And I, I know that part of it is my anxiety and I'm trying not to let it go to that level, but it is. And so I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts with you guys because it's very frustrating when you feel unprepared and you don't really know what to expect. Um, I do know what to expect for the ECSE portion, which is only from like 8.15 to 11.30ish. Um, and I know I've said that in multiple videos now, but for that whole afternoon portion of the day from noon until three, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know, like, I just don't know. And I asked in this paraprofessional group that I'm a member of on Facebook, and they said, well, resource, you go in, and the students that you're helping as far as resource goes, they should have a special education teacher um, who knows what's in their IEP and what sort of assistance they need, and their gen ed teacher in the room should know what you need to help them with. Okay, but that doesn't really help me because I don't know like exactly what it is and I don't know um, as far as resource I don't know if we actually do that at the very beginning of the year or not because um, my godmother's niece is actually a special education teacher and she has been for over 20 years and she's starting a new job as a resource teacher and um, <clears throat> she was in like a regular special education classroom last year but starting this year she's starting a new position as a resource room teacher and um, she kind of does push in where she goes and um, she can work with the student in their classroom or she can pull them and take them to the, her resource room but she's not doing that for like the first two weeks of school so I don't know if our school is set up the same way where we don't really know you know, like what we're doing with these resource students, I don't know. Like, I don't know if any goals have been established or anything because, you know, like the teacher is on maternity leave. So I don't know if she's been able to establish any of this. Um, I just don't know. So anyways, what would you do if you were in my situation? I know by the time you guys see this video, it'll be way past. Um, my first day but I just wanted to share with you guys and hopefully if you've been in a similar situation or you are in a similar situation hopefully you get your um, questions answered and you get the information that you need so anyways if you guys have any topics you'd like me to talk about in the future please let me know and I'd be glad to get something filmed for you and with that being said I will talk to you guys next time